Hello everyone, Nipa here, trying to make your Monday a little better and maybe even something to look forward to. Happy Halloween, everyone! So, when I realized that Halloween was on a Monday this year, I realized I've really got to do a Halloween video now because like I feel like with all the other <laughs> all the other holidays this year I <laughs> like I don't think I ever really mentioned them in a video but when I realized that this holiday was on the Monday I'm posting this. I'm like, well, I have to do something now. And it's Halloween spooky season. It's been spooky season for a bit. And I don't think I've really mentioned it at all. But this video is meant to be <laughs> slightly <laughs> spookier than what I usually do. Now it's not that much spookier, but it's slightly spookier, and at the very least, it's definitely for me, because for some reason, I'm just like a bit nervous about this one. I don't know exactly why, but with these two slash one, I'll explain it, with these characters slash character that I'm showing today, I was debating on whether to show them on the channel at all. Now originally, I wasn't going to, but then I found out more about them and realized this character is more interesting than I thought, and so then I was debating on it, on whether I should or not, but then I realized that Halloween's on a Monday, so I should do something spooky. And I don't have anything spooky except for this character. This character is the spookiest thing I have. So I thought, you know what? If I'm gonna ever put them on the channel, now would be the time. Unless I wait till like next October and what's the point in that? So... They're on the channel now. <laughs> and I'm a little nervous about it for some reason. But I'm sure it'll work out just fine. <laughs> because you guys are all very nice and encouraging. And I appreciate it. And we have 18 subscribers now. And I'm way too excited about that. Because I'm pretty sure I can do community posts now. And that seems fun. And I didn't think I could do that for a really long time. But then I got a notification where it's like, try doing a community post. And I'm like, what? And I was really excited about that. Part of me's doubting if it still works. I'm sure it probably does. But like, I didn't think that would happen anytime soon. But here we are. So, you might be seeing some of those from me, but that's not really the point, is it? Let me explain what this is. Get it over with, because for some reason, like I've been saying a million times, I'm a little nervous about it. But what these characters are is just random, characters that my mind randomly made up and like I wasn't even trying to make a character it kind of just happened and these characters came from it but what are these characters <laughs> you may be asking because I have now gone over four and a half minutes without explaining them at all well, there's JT. JT is the one in the blue shirt. And there's JT. 
the one with the witch-like hat. <laughs> They're both JT. They're technically, in a way, but also not the same person. It's more confusing than Cylindar. <laughs> Cylindar is two different people, for sure. But with the JT situation, it's even more confusing than them. And how this started off for me was I drew JT. And the reason I drew JT was because I didn't know what to draw since I had this like phase that still happens on occasion where my hands are just really, really shaky. And it makes doing certain things like drawing difficult if I want to get like smooth and straight lines and neat line work and stuff. So I made JT where he was mainly made of shaky and wavy lines that I couldn't help but make when my hands were shaking. And that's how JT was made. He was just me throwing stuff on the paper. And he had a JT on his shirt. So I called him JT because there's a JT on his shirt. But I didn't know like anything else about him. And it was mildly confusing to me because usually when I make a character I know exactly like everything about them and such but I didn't for this one I didn't know anything about JT I didn't even know his name I just called him JT because it was on his shirt and I knew what the JT stood for it stood for junior team so then I knew his age he's a junior but I didn't know anything else and I would just draw him on occasion and see what happened and then eventually I randomly drew with a guy with the witch hat and as I'm looking at the guy with the witch hat I'm like who the heck is this and then I realize because like I would keep getting like lines from them that would play through my head and I realized that that's also JT. <laughs> and from there, I quickly learned more and more about JT. And I'm pretty sure his, ever, at the very least, his nickname is JT. I've come to accept that because, like, line, like I said, lines from this would play through my head and people have called him JT, so... I guess JT stands for Junior Team, and then it's also a joke that it's also his name. <laughs> but that's his, that's his name. But how this whole thing works here with all of the crazy, there's two of them, and they're the same person but not thing, is that what happened to JT is somehow he got this this curse put on him where this other guy with the witch hat <laughs> I guess that's what I'm calling him now the guy with the witch hat <laughs> where the guy with the witch hat kind of became one with him where now this guy was part of JT and could take control and all that kind of stuff. And JT was kind of just stuck with it. And JT was pretty young at the time. And he had people like his family that he cared about. The problem with that is that what this guy with the witch hat does is he will take the people that JT cares about. So if JT like loves someone at all, then this other guy with the witch hat <laughs> will be like, oh, you can have them forever. You can keep them forever. You'll always be with them. And like put that kind of idea in his head to try and make it seem okay. 
when really he is trapping these people, and he puts them into the like purple stones that I put floating around in this picture, and he traps them in there. They can't leave. They're stuck in that thing, and. JT doesn't like that because while the other guy is saying that now he gets to be with these people forever, in reality, he never really gets to see them again because they're stuck in this thing. And there have been times where JT felt like, well, if I'm just gone, then no one else will be like cursed by me or trapped in these gem things but the thing is if jt dies then so does everyone in the gem in the gems and if he is hurt at all then the people that are stuck in the gems will feel it but like 10 times worse so then jt's put in this position of like what the heck do i do and he's just stuck like that so He ends up having to just live with this thing and JT ends up having to like spend all of his time trying not to like people at all. But he can't hate them either because if he hates someone or dislikes someone a lot, then the other guy with the witch hat, (laughs) I find it funny, I was like, with the witch hat, the other guy with the witch hat will eliminate them and then JT feels bad for that so he's essentially stuck going through life and going to school and all these things essentially not being allowed to feel anything towards anyone he can't love anyone he can't hate anyone he can't do any of that because if he does then the curse goes and does its thing and it's just it's pretty much just really sad for jt honestly because this thing is just always constantly mocking him for it too which is kind of like what i tried to portray in this drawing here he's just always mocking him and teasing him and all of that when jt's not doing anything wrong and I don't know, honestly, if it has a bad ending or a good ending. I don't know any of that. I'm still learning a lot about JT. And again, I wasn't even sure if I was going to put him on the channel. And I thought I would at least have more time to figure these things out if I was going to. But then spooky season. (laughs) So I didn't wait. And so I don't have the most to give. But... Like, when thinking about how the storyline works, there's this one girl at JT school, and JT's pretty much an orphan because his family was put into the gems, so he's essentially an orphan, but he does get to go to school. And there's this one girl at the school who can tell that JT is not okay. (laughs) He can tell, she can tell that JT probably needs help and tries so hard to help him. But then JT is left in this spot where this girl is trying so hard to be friendly to him. And then he has to try really hard not to like her for it. And he will want to push her away and get her to go away but the curse won't allow that to happen and they can essentially kind of just mute jt so that he can't say anything which was why at first it was so hard to figure much out about him because he never spoke but it was because the curse the guy with the witch hat would (laughs) I'm sorry, I keep laughing at it, would keep muting him, essentially. So he couldn't say anything, he couldn't push people away, which essentially just made things even worse for him. (laughs) And even then, when JT won't even speak or look at her, 
she keeps trying to help him and it's just really sweet honestly and i hope that it gets better but i have no idea honestly and i believe that currently that is all the information i have about jt right now where the story goes if it has a happy ending or any of that i have no idea so if any of you want me to talk more about this let me know in the comments because otherwise i honestly probably won't because like i said i was really nervous to even make this one but if you guys want to hear more about them i would gladly tell you anything else that i figure out about jt and as you may notice on this drawing i made here it says who's the curse now and i essentially made this like kind of like a poster not like a scene i made it more poster like because i thought that'd be cool to do something i've been wanting to do for a bit with other series as well but it says that because i had a feeling like if i made this into a series or anything i would call it that because the guy with the witch hat he's essentially the curse that was put on jt but he will like constantly like ask jt who's the curse now because he put this idea in jt's head that jt is the one that's the curse not himself but he's the curse on everyone else and that's why it says that on the picture and that's why it's also in the youtube title because like i said if this was a series and if i did do it again i would call it that but that's all i have to say for now happy halloween everyone hope you enjoy your trick-or-treating if you do that and stay safe everyone happy halloween goodbye